Wow, 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 wow. Hello, welcome to another video. Another tarot video. Back in my space. <laughs> in my closet, frankly. Could you tell? Um, I got this new, um, what do you call them? Bandanas? Bananas? Um, I do have the black light on, um, but regardless of the black light, this bandana glows. And we got the constellations on here. It is just so pretty. I think I'll just lay it out for today. How about that? How about it? It's so beautiful. Uh, doing reads out in nature was fun. It was, at, at times, felt really right, and then other times felt like either a little distracted, but I'll, I'll put the blame of that on just our schedule. Um, if I had done it, if I could have chosen to do it another way, I'd have spent more time out there and really just taking my time with everything. But that's not, um, that's not how things always want to pan out. And so, um, I was with somebody who was tested positive for COVID, and as a result, I am now quarantining all week, on my birthday week, So, <laughs> thank you, universe, um, for that. That's fine. You know, it'll be fine. I feel like for all the birthdays that I spent saying that I, uh, I wish people would leave me alone, you know, there's something very, like, introspective about turning another year older, and um, while all the love and attention is nice, on the day of, I'd really like to be left to my own devices, and um, this this week, this year, and now my ears are ringing, this year, the universe said, we'll make it so. Great. But no, I'm just doing the right thing by quarantining and, and not seeing anybody, wearing my mask, even around the house with my roommates, and um, COVID is pretty bad right now, so I really do feel for anybody who is not feeling good right now, who needs a little bit love little bit of love or support or some energy. I hope this finds you. What day is it even? January 4th, Tuesday. What have we got going on today? Or this week? What's something to pay attention to? Venus is still retrograde. You know, you guys know how much I love talking about Venus retrograde. And there are a ton of um, conjunctions and or aspects rather happening with other planets this week with Venus. I believe like Neptune is one of them, the Sun, Mercury. Um, so things are going to move along quite well in the new year. Let's just all be safe about it, okay? Okay. Here we go, the super moon. Emotions are running high. Will it work? I gotta hide my face. This is a one big experiment for me, guys. So, emotions are running high, super moon. Yeah. Bring love into the situation. New moon Aquarius. That's about seeing the bigger picture and it's about, so this is about not jumping to conclusions, rather seeing the bigger picture and trying to see something from another person's perspective. That's what they mean by bring love into the situation. It is universal love. Don't judge someone for their behaviors until you understand their motive. 
if emotions are running high, it, you run the risk of reacting instead of responding. And Full Moon Leo, don't let pride get in your way. Okay. I mean, so it's, it's what I just said, I feel. Our egos, e this is like ego tripping. <laughs> Everyone is so close to the edge right now. Everyone is ego tripping. Mm. <laughs> Super moon, new moon Aquarius, full moon Leo. Yeah. Yeah. That was that's the moonology deck that I like to use. And this is the Northern Animal Tarot that I like to use with the Moonology. And these two were my go-tos, the only two decks I brought while I was out camping in the desert. I just think they're a pretty sweet combo. And now on this like starry constellation-y uh, backdrop. We did just have a new moon, so I was out there under the biggest sky you could possibly imagine. And the stars were out. I think I mentioned that in a video I did. I did do one video while in the desert. But I, I'll say we left when we did because the gusts that night were 20 miles an hour and the following night would have been 50 mile an hour gust winds. And I woke up, you know, that, that last night when there were 20 mile an hour winds, I slept without the rain fly because I could for the first time and I would wake up with the blankets being blown off of me it was so funny I was like why am I cold suddenly you're sleeping in the middle of the desert with no blankets on quick course correct and then I was fine no so yeah the, the temperatures were fine and then the on we left when we did because the next day would have been like in the 20s or something. And in Chicago, it was single digits when we got back. So it just got very cold suddenly. Okay, okay. Let's finally stop shopping, shall we? We sped home so quickly. I think we left like 6 p.m. one night from San Antonio and, and arrived in Chicago 3 p.m. the following day. Like literally, no stopping, like no resting, not really. I need a massage, that's how I feel. In case you were wondering. Oh boy, here we go, underneath. The Eight of Cups, that's a journey. By night, by moonlight, leaving, okay. I like it so far. King of Swords, Ten of Swords, I mean Ten of Wands, Fall, Four of Pentacles, The World, Winter. Interesting. King of Cups. Justice. Summer. Look at that. There's like, there's a season in the third column, all the, straight down. Autumn, winter, summer. We got two kings. Some pretty powerful stuff here the world closure on some sort of um, on some sort of situation that required a lot of effort something that was taking up a lot of your energy has now suddenly come to light some some truth has come out
So, discovering. Okay, this is what this is a situation that clearly is a as a highly charged one. I'll say because the super moon showed up as the first card. It's the emotions are running high. This is something that is extremely uh, potent. I'd say. Also, eight of cups is transformation. So something we feel very deeply about. There's some kind of truth coming to light about that situation. Um, where this burden is being released. I mean, fall is like when the dr leaves, sorry, the trees drop their leaves. It's a shedding of responsibility that isn't yours, that has been held onto for a really long time. That is ending. That is ending, and there's more of a focus here now of self-care. Winter is sort of like hibernation, but you see the crescent moon. The crescent moon is quickly becoming one of my favorite symbols ever. We got the crescent moon here and here. It's reflected in the waters here, but we don't see it in the sky. Mm. And with justice, it almost makes me feel like this is somebody standing up for themselves in a situation. Um, or maybe like getting more confidence to um, having more confidence to express themselves without being um, overly emotional about it um, or overly critical just sort of like a nice balance because of the release of this some sort of obligation or responsibility and I do see more of a focus on the body like the physical body needing to come into balance um, hmm. this is Leo I feel right because we have the full moon Leo up here this this could be Leo energy this summer card I see the sun up here anytime we see the sun there's Leo I see the sun in the world card we have the sun and the moon the crescent moon again again okay so there's four crescent moons here and technically this new moon I mean that's not a crescent moon but I do see like the little illuminated sign there and then we the sun is also appearing in both the justice and the world card so something is really balancing out in in a very nice way but it's having to do with shedding responsibility and yeah I'll say I'll say either standing up for yourself or something coming to light like some sort of truth coming to light and so uh, maybe w because this is about the eight of cups this might be something that had been repressed that is now coming to the surface and you're saying I no longer want to be carrying these these things even if they are, so it's almost like if something was, was really, really deep inside of you, it has now come to the surface. This is why emotions are running high. And now it's about getting it outside of you so that you are no longer carrying it with you as a burden or as a responsibility. In that way, it does translate to this is how we take care of our physical bodies as well because if the things that we hold on to and that are repressed affect us physically, on a physical level, you have to sort of purge that um, and it might be scary but I, I see the king of cups here so really I don't um, the king of cups the thing to know about him is that he's unshakable he also sort of knows when to share his emotions and when to not like he's sort of just like a mastermind a little bit I, I sort of perceive him as a little bit of a mask there but with the king of swords It does, it does make this feel very balanced in, in the sense that, you know, the truth is leading you in a direction. You are led in a certain direction by way of truth based on how you feel about something, right? And it might be a deeply personal thing or it just might be a situation that you're in. I feel like that way of dealing with things is ending and what's happening now is there's just a more of a direct route to 
a more direct route is open to you once you sort of build up the confidence for um, plain speaking. Plain, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, what's the time? All right, 15 minutes. Let's do some clarifications. Show me, um, well, hold on. There's the new moon Aquarius, right? Bring love into the situation. That card is really about seeing all sides of a situation. I feel like that is a very balanced approach, just like the King of Cups is balanced. And justice, that is also balance in the sense that you're 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 seeing things in a in a way that's fair to all parties not just yourself or maybe this is a way of you being finally fair with yourself in terms of what you've been through and what you've been dealing with either way this has been a long process cuz seeing 3 of the 4 season cards this really feels like a wrap up you know like it, sh it shows like a year and I know that we just changed years so I don't know if this could be in the past or in the f or this this current year I mean, I'm, uh, when I asked that question I definitely in my mind went like nope it's this year so this might be a 2022 annual read emotions are running high bring love into the situation don't let pride get in your way as in everyone is going through something difficult in their lives as are you as am I there's always room to see all to see another side to the situation and not let our egos dictate how we react to what's happening this is a longer process than just what is directly in front of you. I like that. Let's see uh, some clarifications. How about the Eight of Cups? Whew. Yeah, Three of Swords. There's that heartbreak. There's the courage. And Three of Cups. Yeah, this is about transmuting th two threes here. The Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. This is about finding the courage to turn a past painful situation into something that you can celebrate so as I was saying about like the repressed things like the pain that's inside of us deserves to be nurtured and, and acknowledged that's what's happening here and also strength is another eight card so we now have two eights on the table and two threes let's see the king of swords Another eight, eight of swords, four of cups, knight of wands, ace of swords. There's the truth. Um, it's almost like you learn something either about yourself or about a situation that makes it so you can't like ignore, ignore it anymore that's why it's coming up it's been a burden it's been something that's been heavily burdening but at least now this truth is somehow inspiring it's inspiring some kind of action versus um, complacency or um, this desire to be like willfully held back somehow like holding yourself back like you're no longer holding yourself back anymore you have the courage now to sort of work through this whatever it is let's see the ten of wands what is it the star yep it's about healing hope king of pentacles hope for um some for, for some sort of future um yeah There, the thing that's been that you've been carrying is in regards to something 
that is that you think is supposed to bring you stability like you have hope for um, something that either a, a job a career because it's the king of pentacles so it could be like related to money or your time um, anything any sort of like 3d sort of thing you can think of that may, that gives you stability in your life right so in our society we think of that as like our money and, and careers and like what we invest ourselves into and then we have Sasquatch and the seven of swords hmm <laughs> Ace of Wands underneath. Inspiration. You know, so this, this burden is related to, well, I guess I already said it, but I, I, keep, I keep thinking in a loop now, so I'm not really sure where to go with that, but like, it's, it's around some sort of hope for stability. And then I, and then I have the Sasquatch and the Seven of Swords, so like, Maybe this is, it's time to let go of something that one, you once thought would bring you stability, but is actually no longer on your path, if that makes sense. Because the Seven of Swords is either about deception or just moving on with what's working and leaving the rest behind. Sasquatch is here to remind us that wild is good, yes, but how wild is too much? So like, if something... Like, are, is the thing you're hopeful about that you're carrying something that really, really deeply resonates as, like, something you can't live without? Or is it just something that makes you feel alive enough to pursue, if that makes sense? Sasquatch is like this wild, wild, you know symbol and the king of pentacles is sort of like the opposite the king of pentacles is the highest energy of of power and stability so it's almost like it's interesting i feel confused i feel like that's the thing that's that's being carried right now is maybe the confusion around um, some sort of healing that needs to happen around um, a previously stable situation that has gone wild and there's like a lot of confusion around possibly this but some clarity is that this this truth that was in the past here that that either came to light is inspiring this question is it the king of pentacles or is it a sasquatch and so good good right bring love into the situation as in what is the broader scope of this don't let pride get in your way don't try to be prideful here okay um, let's look at fall or autumn, the season card. Six of pentacles, two of wands, ten of cups, wonderful, nine of wands. Well, It's almost like you only want to be um, anything that isn't equally reciprocal, anything that isn't, that you don't perceive as part of your future, like really, so anything that doesn't actually make you truly happy is falling away. Because I see now there's a, this, high, this autumn card is about, you know, the shedding and it's also about um, harvesting. So, as in anything you put your energy into you can now harvest so <clears throat> like a reap what you sow sort of 
this has been about consistently and almost um, I see a lot of a lot of concerted effort to the point of near exhaustion going towards equal reciprocity planning and the ten of cups contentment you know like contentment um, the ten of cups happiness Wheel of Fortune underneath. So this is about cycles. Maybe this is shedding um, old perceptions of what is equal give and take. What is you know my personal power? What is my Ten of Cups? Because and then the Nine of Wands shows up and says this is a cycle of this is about uh, maybe letting go of old perceptions of um, love of friendship of um, how we think about our lives and plan for the future. Oh. Let's see now in the present, the um, Four of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. The tree, seven of cups, there's the confusion, and the hanged beast, yeah. The hanged beast is about getting a new perspective, so there's the, there's the new perspective coming in here at a moment of confusion. Someone is trying to understand why things panned out the way that they did here in, in the recent past, and, and whatever the whatever this this three of hearts three of hearts three of swords and this eight of eight of cups whatever this like inner journey that's happening to like release something that's been a burden like i see here in the present somebody trying to understand why things panned out the way that they did and the wise tree is here to remind us that um we don't either we don't know what we actually know or it's just here to sort of question whether we know too much as in um, we can become rigid in our knowledge and that makes us inflexible to other perspectives so that's why there's confusion here because there's a holding on to some sort of old perspective um, a, a sort of like a grown in raised method of thinking or a feeling or of understanding how something's supposed to work um, but what's really being asked right now um, of you is uh, to try and get a new perspective on whatever the situation is full moon underneath powerful for releasing release that old mind state, that old knowledge, make room for new information to come in without judgment. Uh, let's see the world. The world in the middle here. That's powerful. This is like some major ending. It's almost like no going back. Show me the world. The tower. Yep, sudden upheaval, it's over. Done messages owls oh. I think this is gonna be forever my tarot drinking mug when I use this deck because I love that I can just be like look owls five of Pentacles and the ace of cups absolutely so whatever is ending here I think you'll find that whoever else is sharing in this situation with you also wants to move on because that's what the five of five of pentacles says in this deck it is about the scarcity card it's about feeling like we don't have what it takes to overcome the situation or to get through it but you see how they're not alone i don't know if you can see that honestly but they're not alone you'll just have to believe me it's just a sign that says there is 
you'll find support for wanting to overcome a difficult situation. Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning in love and something that at least is in the heart center, okay? And so it's almost like this, this tower moment, this sudden upheaval, the sudden clarity, the sudden whatever, the aha, the eureka, the because you asked the question, you have a different, because you asked a different question, you now have a different answer. Okay, instead of asking the same questions. Ooh, this is good. Show me winter. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so before we had the Page of Pentacles, the wanting to understand now the Knight of Pentacles takes steady, slow, but consistent action. The Magician, Manifestation. Yup. Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Yes. Pages don't make the same mistake twice. So now we went from, we had the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups both very similar in their energy, I think, because they're, it is about like the new beginning, but the Page of Cups also just indicates that now we have, we, you know, we're now at the, the final card of the, the present here. Like we are now finally learning how to create things in our life, stability um, from a brand new place of feeling. We're not doing it in the same way. This is about manifesting some sort of legacy, some sort of long lasting thing that we're now acknowledging takes a long time. When did the, when did the um, Ace of wow, uh, Wands show up? I was just asking that question because it was on the bottom before and there it is again. There was something I wanted to say about this card. It's like the, the Ace of Wands energy is the one that's, and the Ace of, yes, the Ace of, sorry, the Knight of Wands also showed up earlier. Right next to this, look at that, right next to the Four of Cups, which is like, no thanks, you know, this sort of apathetic or just sort of like self-preserving honestly sort of energy it goes from like that to this very fiery like all of a sudden ambitious sort of energy so that's the wild right that's the wild aspect of the situation that honestly can lead to a lot of burnout i think that there's that's the emotions are running high i think that if you want to approach this from a more um consistent and um, balanced way, which is the direction this is going, it is about seeing things from a different perspective and um, taking things a lot slower. This is about building new patterns, new routines, um, like new traditions even, if you will. I wonder if the ghost will show up. But anyway, this is about manifesting a legacy for yourself, I feel, based on a, this new feeling, the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups also comes with a message of um, expecting the unexpected, as in talking with spirit, talking with animals, um, listening, and the ability to hear our subconscious speaking so i like that a lot i love man the ace of wands was underneath right when i was asking you about it how crazy is that you saw that <laughs> you saw that right <sighs> okay show me the king of cups ten of wands Page of Wands, Spring, we got the fourth, fourth, um, 
season card. And now the six of wands. Interesting. Hmm. So the King of Cups, right? This character who cannot be shaken emotionally. Someone who, you know, now you've sort of maybe like looked at this situation or whatever from a damn near every perspective and you feel like you have a pretty firm grasp on what's going on and, and how to approach this. The message then is to release some sort of destructive um, or possibly painful, uh, any painful associations with the situation because there's there's potential for, for growth and there is um, something to be celebrated here if this this idea for moving forward is grounded in reality because the page of cups is the message of seeing like being inspired and and seeing some sort of way forward it's not necessarily taking that action just yet it's like it is planting the seed but when i say you the page of wands puts his staff on the ground as in to ground these ideas in reality what you don't want is that ground to be full of ten swords. That's what I mean. Remove this painful sort of... Um, this old cycle. This, this is just a reminder that this old, old cycle is sort of like being cleaned out. Um, and there I, there I see successful new growth in the future. If you're able to put this passed away. That's nice. Uh, let's look at justice. The Hierophant. There's the ghost. Uh, quarter moon and the six of cups. interesting because the hierophant comes out to clarify justice this is not only about something coming into balance and into harmony but this is about putting away some story about um, whatever this person or this situation for you has historically played in your life because the hierophant is all about tradition and look at the ghost who did show up. The ghost is about our ghost stories, the things we tell ourselves to stay comfortably scared, right? So, it's not enough to say this is how it's always been. I think you can change the narrative here through, and my ears just started ringing again. Just ring. So. Ay, ay, ay. The key to this is to put away some sort of ghost story. This is... The, the story that you've told yourself is the thing that is actually hurting you. So it's almost like a little bit of self-sabotage. You're keeping yourself in a, situ in a painful situation by limiting your own perspective. Because the Hierophant is all about the tradition and the rules. I mean, justice is also here indicating the law. Like some rule that you live by is actually holding you back. That's Leo. That's the pride, right? That's ego. It's holding you back there. Instead, what should happen is is some level of gratitude for the past. You know, this the six of cups is harmony. It's also it's like nostalgia, right? It's like when we remember the past and to remember something with a little bit of gratitude. You could say, say thank you for the lesson. I got it, and move on. And that's a more balanced, a more balanced approach there. Okay, let's look at summer, and then I'll get some final words. Oh, yo, yo, 40 minutes. I'm sorry, this, this one's so long, y'all. But if you watch till the end, you know, congratulations, I guess, and thank you. It means you're getting something out of it. I hope. Um, so finally, 
we're looking at summer. The lovers. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the High Priestess. Hmm. Interesting. It's almost like releasing that ghost story is sort of like what gets you to closer to a reality where that story actually comes true not in a bad way just that it's um high priestess there's something sort of working behind the scenes if you just sort of hang back a little bit um the message here is to sort of like build your own stability, build your own stable foundation. The Four of Wands is like the commitment card, but it's almost like this is a, and, and so is the Seven of Cups. It's like something you've invested a lot of time and effort in. This is very likely yourself showing up here. It's, it's, it's. <laughs> Yeah, the universe is sort of responding to that, isn't it? I see a lot of stars here as well, and I see stars in the winter card. That's a number two. Uh, the lovers were in a universal six year, so the lovers is the card of, of 2022. I do believe that this is, you know, maybe this is what this is saying is that this is a time for more of a self-focus again. Um, it's time to sort of ground yourself, connect with the earth, and um, see what solid structures are available to you right now that um, that might be needed for support you don't always have to be working so damn hard um, this is a choice though um, it is a choice to um, instead of burnout I saw burnout here you know to manifest from a place of not really believing in your dreams here because you're carrying like this like poison inside this is sort of what I'm seeing it's like there's a poison being carried inside that is actually sort of like tarnishing all of the very good and valid dreams that you do have that are possible that are waiting for you to um, to release that toxicity so that you can manifest from a place that is more consistent, more, um, I'll say, positive and uh, emotionally fulfilling. And so it does require taking a step back um, and getting in touch with your intuition and looking at what are the state, what are truly the stable things around you that you can lean on for support while you figure out what you're going to do with these six pentacles. Um, you know, I said this is a choice because obviously it's your choice on how you decide to behave. It's your choice whether you've watched this video or not and whether it's been internalized at all. Um, but there is, I see some, some burnout happening here and that's because something hasn't been totally released. Like the ego does somehow eventually um, get in the way and so the the message I guess for this whole read is just to get a new perspective on um, Possibly how you are seeing a situation because I think what wants to come in is this new inform this other information that provides a different perspective ask a different question And you'll get a different answer 
or rather you yeah right you'll get a different answer but I just mean not that the answer is like the one and only and holy truth it's that every truth we hear we collect builds and paints a, a, a bigger picture um, no I'm tired y'all so I'm gonna end it there but thanks so much for watching and I hope that it helped peace